Good night, everyone. Good night, Edwin. Uh, good night, uh, Cody. Good night. Good night. How's it going? So far, so good. Yeah. Is yes. Okay. Yes. Hey. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm glad that Edwin didn't have problems to log in into the, the class today. So that's amazing. Hey, Edwin. Now it's hot, but not too hot, right? <laughs> in my house, yes. Yeah? It's hot. It's hot. Well, yeah. in my house has been uh, hot during the whole day, but it just uh, rained a few seconds ago. And it didn't rain a lot, but uh, a few drops. And then I took a shower because I had to. If you can see, my hair is a little bit wet right now. Uh, because, I, no, I have to. For me, it's really... You're, you're fresh. <laughs> A little bit, yeah, yeah, a little bit fresh, but definitely I'm gonna take another shower before I go to bed. Because okay. if not, I won't be able to sleep. Definitely not. Mm -mm. Yeah, depends when. If, for example, if it's really cold, or really hot, I could take like five times. I could I could shower five times in a day. Oh. Mm -hmm. But I have to avoid like, not to be really warm because that will affect my bones, right? And so I have to like be careful with it. Yeah. I, but you cannot imagine for me, I'm not used to the hot places. I'm not. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. So Elwin, um, I admire you because where you live, I think it's really hot, right? Mishi, what are you doing? Sassy is here. Uh, today is cool. It's good? Really? It's cold? It's cold today. No. That's right. Ah, okay. That's nice. But cold for you? I don't know if it's cold for me. <laughs> I don't know. I know we're talking about the same uh, temperature. Maybe yes, maybe not. How many degrees? How many Celsius degrees? Good night, teacher. Good night, Claudie. Any idea? 25, maybe? 29. 29? Oh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. For San for San Miguel, right? You live in San Miguel, right? Yes. For San Miguel is is cold, but it still is hot for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? The le I think I have been in like a seven Celsius degrees, seven Celsius. But no below that. No, never. In Canada, is below that. In yes, in Canada, it's really, really everybody has like a calefaction or hot temperature inside because if not you could die of frozen it's really really cold yeah it really does you know what i like el salvador because el salvador has like um, a nice weather i can say we have a places where are like have a tropical weather and at the same time there's a places like a palma a taco a baneca places like that where you can also find like a cold places so it's really good i like it and you know what I like of El Salvador? I like the gastronomy. I like the food by heart. What about you? Do you like the food here in El Salvador? Yeah? Especially pupusas, right? <laughs> and Gabby Gabby's like, mm, yeah. <laughs> hey, Gabby, I like the, your blouse today. It's really, it's really colorful. It's happy color. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. It's a new one. Oh. Um, a friend you like of your makeup my, as well. Thank you. A friend of my daddy. Uh, I don't know why, but, but he he sent to us some clothes to me and my mama. And oh, so it, it was a gift from your daddy. Uh, a, a friend of my daddy. Oh, a friend of your daddy uh, gave it to him to him for you. Oh, for 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 us for your for family oh that's <laughs> nice i like it too I, yeah that happens also with my the friends of my mama sometimes they arrive and they said okay this is, is going to be for for you for you for your for your baby girl i'm the baby girl <laughs> but i'm but i'm not too baby right <laughs> so that's why <laughs> hey brandy don't laugh brandy come on <laughs> well, i'm so happy that i can see you guys at least for the last day of this week before we go into vacation, before you go into vacation, right? Lucky you. Yes. 
<laughs> so I'm so happy. I have Gabby or Velasquez. I have Elsie. Very good. Claudia. Claudia Cecilia. Yay. I have two Claudies here. You know what? This is the first time that I had in the group three Claudies. And one I need to call them Liz. The other one I need to call them Ceci. And the other one is Claudia. <laughs> yeah. All right. And Elwin. Elwin, you're the lucky man. You're uh, the only mess around for, for those beautiful ladies. How does it feel, sir? He doesn't want to say anything. I uh, know. Sorry. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Jaime. Uh, no, 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 no. But I ask you the question before Jaime joins the class. So you should answer me by heart. <laughs> Elvin, how do you feel to be our surrounded for those beautiful ladies today? Elwin. I feel lucky. You feel lucky? Why? Uh, for us, uh, be the only man in. in... Uh huh. Be the only man in the class? Yes. Before Jaime arrived. <laughs> yeah, you know why I asked him that question, Jaime? And he was about to answer it when you pop up. And like, oh no, Jaime arrives. But no, since I had asked him the question before you joined the class, he should answer it. And he answered. Yeah. Okay. So uh, he's not going to be the only man in the class. Jaime help you today, Elwin. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for being in this class. I know that we like tough day for you. We'll almost finish. Um, I have to let you know, guys, that I reported already what you have let me know about the platform. Do you remember about the, the situation you have with the videos with section three, four, five? I already let them know, so they're fixing it. And hopefully they will have it ready by tomorrow, okay? I have to let you know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they have fixed it. We had problems with the, with the reading part of the final section, the final exam. So uh, they already fixed it. So you won't have any problems with the, with the article that you need to read before you answer the final exam, section five. So you won't have any problems about that, but hopefully they will fix it no longer by tomorrow, the videos, okay? For the three sections. Okay, thank and you, Tisha. You're welcome, Jaime. And thank you so much for letting me know that because that's why we work, right? We, between you and I and the, and the group, we work together to fix any problems and we are here to give you a hand, okay? Excellent. Guys, did you remember that yesterday we started talking about houses and apartments, right? Remember that? Mm -hmm. And some of yeah. you said uh, that right now you're currently living in an apartment, like for example, uh, Brandy and Marilyn, if I'm, don't, if I'm not mistaken. But Elsie said that she used to live in an apartment when she was a little girl, like around 10 years. Uh, but now all of you guys, you're living in a house right now, right? Okay, very good. And I yes. live in an apartment too. Also, Gabby Sanchez. Oh, okay, thank you. So we have another girl who lives in an apartment as well. So we have Brandy, Marilyn, and Gabby Sanchez. All right, cool. And also, guys, remember that yesterday we saw some type of uh, um, adjectives, right? To describe uh, the characteristics of your house. Remember, we saw the not only the pronunciation, but also the meaning in Spanish. And we figure it out if it was positive or negative. Do you remember one of them? Comfortable. Comfortable. Very good, I may. Very good. Is that positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Very good. Can somebody remember a, a negative one? Convenient. Convenient is, is, is positive. Very good. And what negative? Stingy. Oh. Nice. Which one? Uh, noisy, noisy, dingy, very good. Small, very good. Ag again, we small, small, very good. Exactly. Uh -huh. You see, uh -uh. expensive. Which one? It's spacious. Expensive. Expensive. Uh, expensive. Yeah, expensive is, is um. It could be yeah. negative, right? For most of us, right? Yeah. For some people, maybe uh, they don't care about it's expensive or not. But for us, yes, because of our budget. <laughs> All righty, very good. Hey, Josue, welcome. Also, welcome, Blanky, and welcome, Anita and Berito. All righty. So, guys, we will continue with that, and I will present it to you um, images because I want your help to help me describe that, those images. But before we do that, I do remember, because the teacher has an elephant memory in regards to English things, um, that I left you a homework. Do you remember 
that you need to like pick two um, adjectives, right? Positive and negative to describe your house or your apartment. So let me start with Gabby Velasquez. What about you, girl? <laughs> Which ones did you pick? Um, between an apartment and a house. No, I... Your house, your house, the one you're oh, living right about, now. About my house, mm -hmm. I think is um, is as spacious, spacious as, as an apartment. Okay. Because it's a little bit small, but it's enough for us because we are just three. Oh, okay. So it's a spacious. What yeah. other characteristics can you to... give it to us? Sorry? Besides a spacious, there's another positive characteristic of your house? Um, yes, it's comfortable and it is noisy. It is, it is comfortable or it's comfortable? comfortable? Comfortable. Very good. But you said that it's also noisy, so it has a negative one. Okay. No, there, it, it isn't noisy. Oh, it isn't noisy. Ah, oh, okay. I heard you said noisy in the world. Okay. So is, is it private? Yes. Oh. Yeah, we have a, I don't know how to say portal. Don't worry. We're going to see it today. <laughs> okay. So, but it is, uh, the house has it or the neighborhood where, where the, where the house it is has, has um, that one. No. It's, Something like a passage and okay. the passage uh -huh. uh, has the, the button and okay. also the house has. Oh, so the ha it, it, it has privacy. Yeah. Not only as a neighbor, uh, but at the same time as a, is a, in a house. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Can somebody know how to say portón in English? No idea? Come on, help her. Gate, gate. You can say it gate. Is, it's not the same uh, to door. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, you can say also door guard. Door guard, if it's the one the, that, for example, where is the security guy, right? That I ask you, hey, where are you coming? Are you going to visit somebody? Like that is the, the door guard, right? Where the security guy it is. I'm going to write it down on the chat, guys. Sorry for that. Okay. Door. door guard. Let me check. Oops, it has to be separately. Door guard. Door guard. It is basically when you, where is the security guy? That was like, somebody. La caseta. Aha, uh -huh, but at the same time, is the porton. Is the uh -huh. porton where is the where is the security guard that is asking you a Are you coming to visit somebody here? Was a name, etc. Right? Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, but also you can set a gate as well. But I think gate is more like your garage, el portón de your, de your house, right? That is more like that. And door guard is exactly where the, the security guy it is, okay? So now you know. Also gate, we use the word gate, remember when you go to the airport? Yeah, when you go oh. to the airport, it's like ding, 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 ding. TAC International announced the destination of the flag coming from San Francisco. Please all passengers all aboard from the gate number nine. Did that? Remember that? Yeah. Oh my God, I, I sound, I, it's not me the one who says that on the airport, okay? I just letting you know that. <laughs> no, it's one of my friends. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I always remember that. So the gate, the gate in that case, uh, Gabby, is uh, we use the gate because it's like a tunnel, right? That you need, to, that you get into. But it's also the door. The door that you get in and you get out from the from the airport, if we can say that. That remembered me that I was working in a call center uh -huh. in a Volaris account. Ah, Volaris that is account, an yeah. Airplane. Yes. It it is. Air, airline. It's an airline. airline. It's an airline, airplane. yes. Yeah, they and, have airplanes. Yeah. <laughs> and I had and I had some partners from English uh -huh. and I heard them. So so I, I had an idea uh -huh. of, gate, of gate in that in that context. In that context. Not, 
context, but mm -hmm. not a sub. You see, now you know. Very good. And you can set hydraulic gate and electronic one. Right? All righty. Very good. Thank you, Gabby, for sharing the description of your house. What about, I need to listen to somebody else. Let me check. What about you, Elwin? Um, the positive and comfortable. Comfortable? Safe. Safe. Very good. What about negative? Negative. And if there are, of course. Small. Small. And noisy. And noisy. Okay. Thank you, Elwin. What about you, Julio? And uh, Julio, were you in class yesterday? No, right? No, sorry. I had to go out. I had to go. I had to go out yesterday. Sorry. Okay. So I came later. Not a problem. But but, but please check that check the video, okay? So you okay, can be okay. like a, you could have like a little bit idea. But we're going to recap today, so don't worry about that. Okay. But thank you Thanks. for being here, Julio. What about you, Gabby Sanchez? Tell me about your house. To positive and to negative. Okay. Um. The apartments have as many rooms as houses. Mm -hmm. And apartments aren't as expensive as houses. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about your house? My house, mm -hmm. my is it, apartment, maybe. Oh, your apartment? Maybe it's big, it's spacious, I don't know. It's spacious. Mm -hmm. Is it bright? Yes. Yeah? Uh, what about, yes. um, um, is it's it cheaper? A, cheaper? It's a chip. Chip. Sí. Okay. You use cheaper when you compare. Okay. Uh-huh. Very good, but it's cheap. Okay, that's good. So it's affordable. Okay. Is it dangerous? No. 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 It's safe. Yes. Oh, that's good. Very good. Thank you, Gabby. Okay. I'm just asking you that right now because don't worry. I'm, we're about to see something else. And, and last but not least, Brandy, what about you? <laughs> okay, teacher. You will. Uh -huh. it, it's because I think your apartment is dark because, to be honest with you, I cannot see you sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. Like, no, okay. The, the apartment, the apartment, the second floor apartment is very dangerous because of the stay for children. Ah, yes, you're right about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the apartment is very small for big family, mm -hmm. and the apartment have security all day. Ah, that's nice. So that's a positive one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The apartment is comfortable. No, Com nah. <laughs> uh huh. Gabby Velasca, help her, please. Comfortable. Okay, say it, Brandy. Comfortable. For Very good. Small. Very good. I know because most of the people say comfortable or comfortable, but no, it's comfortable. Comfortable. Like if you are like a British one, like comfortable, like that, right? Like picky. Okay, that's comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the way. Hey, Marilyn, welcome to the jungle. Sorry, welcome to the class. I love your mm -hmm. earrings and I love the color of your brows. It's really pinky. I like it. Very good. She looks so happy today, right? I like it. You're smiley. Very good, guys. Excellent job. So now let me share with you um, two pictures. One picture is going to be for an apartment, and the other picture is gonna be for a house, okay? And I want you guys to help me describe that house. You can say, you can use all the vocabulary that we saw so far, but before we do, I think uh, we need to like recap some vocabulary, right? Some vocabulary for the parts of the houses and the parts of the apartments. Do you think it's a good idea? Yes. Let's check vocabulary, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, right, because sometimes sometimes we have a, a, like places in common, but sometimes there's difference. So let me check really quickly what I have here. All right, it's a really easy peasy quiz. It's, it's like a small one, but I think it's really important just to check the vocabulary before we move on. 
So let me confirm really quickly. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, we have house and apartment. All right, guys. So take a look at this. Can you see it? Or would you like me to make it a little bit bigger? Yeah? Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So we have the house, right? We have many, uh, most of the houses have that. We have the living room, which is, what is the living room, guys? What does it mean in Spanish? Ala. Ala. All right. Ala. All right. What about kitchen? Cocina. Cocina. Very good. Cocina. Dining room? Comedor. Comedor. Very good. Comedor. Laundry room? Exactly. When you have the washing machine or la pila, yeah, et cetera, right? The dryer. All right. The garage? Parqueo. Exactly. 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 It's better like that one. Bedroom? Of course. Exactly. Exactly. It, most of the time, guys, inside of each bedroom, they have a little thing where you can hang all your clothes. And it's cold? Mm hmm Closet, right? Mm -hmm. Closet. And what is a hole? Pasillo. Pasillo. Very good. Guys, do you see that this is a big room and this is the smaller ones? This is the main room, the principal room. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like uh, I remember that Brandy said that, but she was talking about apartment. But also, it, we if you see, guys, this is a house of two floors, right? First floor and second mm -hmm. floor. So to go to from one to another, we have stairs. What that means is stairs. Gradas. 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 Exactly. Gradas. Exactly. Very good. So you see the first floor and the second floor. What about this? What is a yard? Jardin. 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 Very oh. good. Guys, most of the time, let me go back with you. Most of the time, a houses like that has like a, a front yard right and a backyard yeah. do you remember uh -huh. that backyard digans do you remember those cartoons i think or comics uh -huh. yeah the backyard digans basically guys that they call backyard digans because if you see they were like friends right friends that used to play on the backyard of the house and they arrived to one of them houses every day just to play so backyard digans basically guys means your friends of your childhood that arise to your house to play on the backyard. That is a backyard again. So that's why that's why the comic or the book name it backyard because are your your little friends when you were a child that always arrives to your house to play with you. So all of us had a backyard right? I used to have a backyard I don't know mm -hmm. about you, but I used to have it. <laughs> And I still have it, but now they are pets. <laughs> All righty, mm -hmm. very, very good. Okay, so let's move on. So we ha we have a brief information about what is exactly regularly a house have. What about an apartment? Let me double check right now. Let me go back to where we were. And uh, let me share it to you. All right, cool. All right, what about an apartment? Okay, guys, the main entry of the apartment calls lobby, right? Lobby. lobby. What is lobby? What does it mean, lobby? Any idea in Spanish? Like a reception. Mm, reception? It, yeah, it's, it's most likely like that, yeah. You have an idea? Yeah, let me check right now. It is like a vestibulo, right? Or reception, yeah, it's good. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Also, guys, in each apartment, we have a living room, right? A dining or a kitchen, but it's a small, right? It's a small because mm -hmm. it's less spacious we have a bedroom we have a bathroom we have a mm -hmm. closet but there's a difference here what do we have to move from one stage into another elevator elevator, elevator. and guys let me let you know something before i move on do you remember guys that um we we call floor in a house First floor, second floor, etc. That means piso, yes. right? Okay. Uh -huh. Well, in apartment is this is different. It's called stage. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you move from first floor to another one, it's also piso, but it means a different one. It, you you say it in a different way in an apartment. It's exactly the same. Okay. But for example, you can say, oh, oh that also, guys. You can use a stage when you arrive to the to a shopping mall. 
And sometimes the first floor or the first stage has like uh, drugstores and you're looking for a restaurant that on the third place, right? So you say, yeah. hey guys, uh, where can I find, for example, Puerto Marisco? I don't know. I, I just came up with a name, right? Or China Walk. We can say China Walk. Pick the hat. And you, and you can, and then somebody else let you know, oh, you need to, to take the elevator or the electronic stairs, right? And it is on the third stage. Or for example, when you go to the clinic and you visit the doctor, sometimes there is like a, a building when we have a mm -hmm. different doctors for different specialties, right? So mm -hmm. for example, you're looking for um, an oncologist or an ophthalmologist. Oh, so Dr. Herrera, for example, it is on the third stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clinic number 38, for example, right? So in apartments or buildings like that, we use a stage, but we know that there's exactly the same meaning of floor. But floor is for houses and a stage is for apartments. Okay? Mm -hmm. But it's exactly the same. Okay, All righty. I've got a question. Yes, Jaime, go ahead. Which is the best way to say uh, the place where is the toilet? Somebody says ah. bath or restroom. Okay, aha, uh -huh. Jaime, do you? I don't know, guys, if you change, if you check by any chance the link that I sent it to you about the three pronunciations, American, UK, and British. Basically, depends because, um, for example, a in American way, when you said restaurants are the bathrooms that are not in your house. Are the bathrooms that are in the restaurants, for example, or in a mm -hmm. supermarket or in a shopping mall, for example. But mm -hmm. if it's like a something, is it like a, a, a bathroom that is in your house or in an apartment, you call bathroom. Okay. Because you have the little thing when you do your things <laughs> and the, the little, the little, the other space where you take a shower, right? Like, like a tube, right? But uh, and in British, we call toilet. Mm -hmm. okay. we, call, we call toilet and toilet will be like the same bathroom that we have here in El Salvador, right? Uh, but in American, we use a toilet they would immediately would think only in that little space when you go and do pee pee and popo, for example, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And bathroom will be the whole area for American people. But for British people, toilet is the whole thing. So that depends with who you are talking about or you're talking to. That's why I send you that link because there's sometimes they speak the same English but they have the different meanings and different words. So did you did you watch the video, guys? Did you watch the video? Yes, I did. Yeah? Yes. It was it was interesting, it was very, right? Very interesting. It was yes. really interesting because, guys, like in the Spanish here, for example, everybody in Latin America supposedly we speak Spanish, right? <laughs> but guess what? We can mm -hmm. get in trouble if you don't know the meaning of the words, right? Because in here, sometimes we mean something. But in other places, it will mean something else. And some things, sometimes it's bad things. So we need to be careful as well. That's why I send it to you guys, those, those links. Because as I said before, you're learning a foreign language. And you need to know the culture of the places or the countries that is. Speak the language that you're learning. Because it's really important. It's, I think learning a foreign language, guys, is not just speaking, reading, grammar. It, it has to be complete. So one, one day I'm going to search for another information and I will send it to you guys a link for you to understand about gastronomy, okay? About okay. gastronomy, about uh, maybe um, cultural places to visit, etc. okay? I'm going to send it to you so, and in English. And please don't put, don't put subtitles. Mm -hmm. Just try to focus in English and understand what you can understand. Because if you put some titles, it's like a block for your English learning. So I, I never use subtitles. I, I don't like them. Because that that stop you your brain thinking in English and that makes you your brain divided in two, Spanish and English. No way. I need if you're learning English, I need you to have your brain a hundred percent in English. Okay. But, yeah. So I'm gonna send it to you that information maybe um maybe this weekend. 
Okay, I will I will give you some day off on Friday. Okay, I promise. I promise I will give you some rest. Okay, guys. So let's go back. So we already know that, but also we already figured it out, guys. Common places in an apartment and in houses, right? Living room, dining room, etc. But inside of each places, we have different things as well. We have different furnitures as well. So how can we call it? Okay. Let's move on. Let me go back and continue with this vocabulary. Okay, guys. There you go. You see? Of course, for example, we have stove, right? Stove. Yeah. Stufa. <laughs> Stufa, exactly. Which is basically, where do you, do you locate the stove, guys? In the living room? Kitchen. In the kitchen. kitchen. There you go. What about curtains? In the living room. In the living room. What else? In the bedroom. In the bedroom. bedroom. Uh -huh. Yes, as well. Exactly. What about pictures? All the house. Living room. Living room. Yeah. Somebody said all the house. Yes, of course. Yes. What about the bed? Bedroom. Bedroom. The bedroom. What about armchairs? In the living room. Uh -huh. Yes, most of the time. Some of the persons, they have like a big bedroom. So some of some the of the bedroom. persons, they have in the bedroom. Yeah. Well, my dad used to have one of them. Okay. Now, guys, what about this one? We have, you see, we have two types of tables. Table, which is the regular one that we put on the dining room. But what about this one? A coffee table. Could be in the living room. room. Uh-huh. Do, do you remember, guys, that there's sometimes there is like a living room when they have the sofa and they had a mini table in the middle? Yeah. 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 So that is the coffee table. Because most of the time when you drink your cup of coffee at 3.30 or 4 p.m. in the afternoon, you just put your sweet bread and your cup of coffee there, right? Or your cup of tea, whatever you prefer. Or the soda, I don't know. <laughs> so that is the coffee table. That is like the break time table, okay? Now you know. Okay, let's move on. Let me go back. Do -do -do. All right, we have the microwave oven, okay? We have the refrigerator. Refrigerator, guys, it is in this American, but also you can say fridge. In fridge, is the whole thing, but in British, okay? To let you know that. Uh -huh. We have lamps. Hey, guys, where do you look at the lamps? Most of the time. Bedroom. 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 What else? Living room. Living room. Mm -hmm. Well, also in, in the bathroom, just in case, right? <laughs> yeah, but most of the time, the, the lamps are, are on the sky, right? Yes. But they do not call mm. lamps, guys. They call light bulbs. Light bulbs. Light bulbs, yeah. Light bulbs. No, light bulbs. I will, I will write it right now here. Light bulbs. With me for a moment. Let me write it down. Okay, I will put it like this. Light, light. bulbs. Oh, bulbs, bulbs. bulbs. like that. Mm -hmm. Light bulbs. 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 They are like a focus, yeah. light bulbs. Yeah. All righty. We have sofa. No sofa. Sofa. In oh. Spanish, in Spanish, yes, guys, because remember that in Spanish we have like an accent on the A, sofa, right? But in English, there is no accents. And so we have, we, we call it sofa, okay? Sure. Also, we have desk. Guys, desk could be the one that you have in the living room for a study, but also you, you can also use desk for pupitre, like in the school, okay? Yeah. Uh, bookcase. Mm -hmm. What is the bookcase? It's where mm -hmm. you keep all your books. Okay. Uh -huh, exactly. Most of the time, where do you put the bookcase? Most of the time. Maybe in the living room, right? In the living room. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. And there's something. And how do you say a studio? Ah, a study room. Study room. Study room. Yeah. Hey guys, do you see guys these that this level that this bookcase has one, two, three, four, five, six spaces? Yes. Okay. So, so we we call this levels. Okay. Level. Uh, levels. 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 This is not a floor. This is not stage. No. This is called levels. Okay. Yes. Dresser. Dresser. 
dresser could be guys tocador we could do, we could do that but also do you remember i don't know guys if when you were a child or when you have your babies you have the little wood bin that has like a um gavetas is cabinet cabinet yeah so the dresser basically guys you pull the cabinet okay um, uh, how you say that in this? Let me check if I can talk to you in Spanish. Yeah. Usted, um, ala, sí, ala, perdón, ala, ala, pero no alita de pollo, no, sino que ala, ala, la, las cabinets, las gavetas, right? And you put your socks, your underwears, or everything like that there, or the babies, the baby's pampers, the baby's diapers, and everything. So that's a dresser. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a dresser. Like a mini um a mini wood um case for example what if you have like two three or four depends right over the big of that cabinets that you can uh, keep your clothes inside that is a dresser do you understand yeah 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 i for sometimes but for me it's really it's easier to speak in spanish no it's not easy right so i'm sorry <laughs> sorry but thank you no so much problem. for your patience all righty let me check let me go back to business there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, guys, we have the shares, right? The regular shares where you can have it in the living room and also in the dining room, right? Most of the time. This is my favorite one. Miro. I love Miro's. Who loves Miro's, guys? Living room. No, I know, but everybody, you, loves, everybody loves it. It's, yeah. I don't know you, but I know so, there are some people that they have like a lot of live, uh, Miro's in most of the house in every place of the house. I love mirrors, guys. Without mirrors, I cannot have makeup. <laughs> All right. And guys, where do you put the mirrors most of the time? Where? Where are we located? Living room. Living room. room. What else? The bathroom. In the bathroom. Bedroom. In the bedroom. 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 Uh -huh. bathroom. Exactly. Everywhere. Everywhere. Hey, I'm agree with you. <laughs> All righty. What about rug? No rug. Rug, exactly in the living room, as well in the bedroom. In the bedroom, yeah, most of the in time the bathroom. bedroom, right? In the bathroom, but in the bathroom there are more plastic ones, right? Yeah, it's different. Uh, yes, it's different because the the bathroom, the purpose of that is not to fall down, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. How do you call that? Uh huh. A carpet. Mm, Plastic. Uh, no, I will let you know what. The, how do you say that? The little, the little uh thing that you put uh when you get wet and you finish taking shower, you call bath mat. Yeah. Bath mat is a little plastic thing that you use, uh, and also <clears throat> to protect you to fall down on the on the on the uh bathroom all right guys what about tv living room living room living room bedroom, bedroom. bedroom as well right uh-huh what about cupboards what cupboards kitchen kitchen, kitchen yeah A cupboards guys uh it's like a la cena uh yeah yeah like okay. alizana yeah when you keep all your cups your plates uh, everything that you need to like to eat most of the time right it's yeah like so, chinero exactly thank you so much yes yes cupboards mm -hmm. no, but i think that chinero is different because chinero is a thing where you keep a uh, plates or exactly dishes. that is cupboard okay. mm -hmm. it's chinero yeah, la cena is a season where you uh, keep a... Uh, oh, when you keep like your groceries? Yes, yeah, like a cereales or... Like a cereals. Like mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so cupboards basically is chinero. It is chinero. Yeah. Okay. Definitely it is. Let me check it out. Um, a la cena. Ah, okay. A la cena. I think it's different. Let me check. Uh, oh, Alacena, we can say pantry. Okay. Pantry, yeah. 
pantry is more like alacena and cupboard or cabinet. You can say pantry, you can say cabinet, or but uh, chinero is cupboard. Okay, that's the difference. I will I will write it down. Bear with me for a moment. I'm going to write it down. Cupboard. Oh, let me put it in Spanish. Chinero is with C or with S? S, as in Su Susan. C H. Oh, like, like, okay, okay, like this, chinero, yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. Cool. And uh, what is the other one? Uh, Pantry. No, alacena. Alacena is pantry. Pantry, and also you can put a cabinet. Either or, it's fine. Pantry cabinet. Mm -hmm. Oh, but um. But also, guys, remember the dresser? The dresser that we put the clothes inside? Uh, I, I let them know that you can put cabinet because also you can use cabinet. But most of the time, guys, it could it would be cabinet if the dresser is like, um, like a metal material. Like, for example, remember in a Seguro Social, yeah? Where they keep all your files of your, of your, your medical history. They open like a door, right? And a lot of pages are inside. So those are more like cabinets. Eh, lo, las puertas de la dresser son como, son más que todo se dice así. Ve. El, se, se dice, oops, I got it here. Mm -hmm. Se dice shelves. See, ¿Sí? shelves. Shelves son más que en todo las, las puertitas de, uh, que, que tú abres del dresser para meter la ropa. So, más que todos son shelves porque el dresser que vimos, eh, la material es wood, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Es wood. Por, por eso, por el material del dresser. Si usted fuera a una clínica, okay, wait, wait a minute, let me check. Si usted fuera a una clínica, hey, much better, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Woohoo, lucky me. Yeah. You. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm trying to do my best. Um, si usted fuera a una clínica, um, Tiene el, el file, ¿verdad? Donde se pone todo su um, historial médico, ¿sí? Y entonces, uh -huh. como el, um, ay, el mueblecito es de metal, ¿sí? Entonces, abren una puertecita, ¿no? Y sale todos los expedientes de todos los fulanitos. Entonces, eso es un cabinet. ¿Sí? La, puerti, la puertecita y después, ¡puc! otra vez la cierran. ¿Me salió bien? El archivero, like uh -huh. archivero. Yes, exactly. But cabinet son como los, los, um, eh, las puertecitas que está dividido el archivero. Ese es el cabinet. Okay. ¿Sí? ¿Me di a entender? Yes. 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 <laughs> 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 Tus habas acento. What? Como gavetas. Exactly. No. ¿Tengo acento? <laughs> <laughs> Por supuesto que tengo acento. Y sabes cuando... Hablo más, si hablo más sequito del español, se me va quitando el acento, así, así medio agringadín, pero, um, pero me viene un acento a veces mexicano, a veces colombiano, a veces costarricense y a veces guatemalteco. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Salvadorian. I am Salvadorian. Pero uh, oh. the, the problem is, ay, ya ves, ay, me el cassette. Ok, uh, el problema es que yo hablo inglés casi a diario. Bueno, casi no, yeah. todos los días. Always. Always. Uh, todos mis trabajos han sido en el idioma inglés y yo escucho el inglés desde los tres años. Entonces, inglés y español para mí son los dos. Eh, entonces, por cuando habla, fíjate cómo es el cerebro. Cuando estaba aprendiendo francés, todo el día era francés, todo el día, porque estaba en un call center donde me dieron la oportunidad de pulirlo antes de entrar a una cuenta. Entonces, mi maestro era, él hablaba muy bien el español, porque su esposa era salvadoreña, aunque él era francés, de León. Eh, Entonces yo hablaba con él todo el día, en la mañana, y en la tarde iba a las clases a la Alianza Francesa. Entonces todo el día era francés 24-7. Una vez que mi esposo y yo estábamos almorzando, 
yo sabía que alguien eh, en un centro comercial a veces te ponen como a hablar de lotería y cosas así, ¿verdad? Que, que hablan para concursos y todo. Entonces yo le decía a mi esposo, yo sé que están hablando español, pero te digo algo, no entiendo nada. <risa> en serio, porque, porque habían unos muñequitos que, como estaba aprendiendo yo el francés canadiense, que es diferente al francés normal, um, porque el área que yo iba a trabajar era Canadá, ¿verdad? Y tenía que estar como en la jugada. Entonces, uh, yo, había unos muñequitos que se llaman tetacles, e, y hay otro que se llama Like Moi y otro, no me acuerdo cuál era el otro. La cosa es que, a ah, la Shabbat creo que era el otro. Entonces, prácticamente yo soñaba con esos muñequitos. Y hasta a mi esposo le gustó porque a veces había parte de inglés y parte de francés porque los canadienses mezclan los dos idiomas. Entonces, la de inglés la entendía mi esposo y la de francés. No, ¿verdad? Pero ahí, ahí al final se acostumbró. Pero como oía mucho de esos muchachos, para mí era como que estuvieran hablando los tetacle cuando yo no entendía español. Entonces, veas que sí, el, el cerebro es... In, y mis respetos para nuestro creador, porque el cerebro es algo maravilloso. Oh. Así, mi respeto. Uso el cerebro para entender el cerebro y aún así no lo entiendo. ¿Cómo la ves de ahí? Y es, 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 es complejísimo. Es una de las, de, quiero ver, ¿cómo te podría decir? Singularidades del ser humano. I think so. Yeah. And where did you learn English? Ah. <laughs> bueno. Uh, por el trabajo de mi padre yo siempre he estado rodeada de personas de, de otros idiomas, de otras nacionalidades hay uh, mucho inglés eh, pero eh, decidieron mandarme primero a artes, a estudiar artes danza, pintura, teatro y música y luego aprendí inglés de los 8 a los 14 años en la escuela americana del Salvador Ah, o sea, a estudiarlo, a estudiarlo de verdad, de verdad. No, pero no crean que estudié aquí, no. Solo estudié en la extensión del idioma inglés. Porque era, era muy caro, ¿eh? Muy caro. Y todavía ¿Y seguía siendo. De, ¿Y tiene clase de francés? ¿Perdona? Eh, no, fíjate que yo quisiera, pero tengo que terminar algo que se llama TOEFL y TOEIC. Eh, TOEFL o TOEIC es en inglés, pero en francés se llama DELF y DALF. Oh. Entonces, es casi similar, ¿verdad? Eh, pero tengo que terminarlo y para eso tengo que terminar de pulirme en un área para poder eh, ingresar. Oh. Y, y después That's de cool. eso, y después de eso puedo aplicar a Insafor para dar clases de francés. Pero si no oh, tengo okay. eso, no puedo. Ah, no, no tengo, todavía no puedo. Tengo que tener dos años de dando francés para que me den chance. <risa> Así que es otro okay. rollo muy aparte. Ya ven que ya, ya se me está puliendo bien el español. I like it. Ah. Ok, going back to business, ¿verdad? Hay mucho chambreguillo, ¿verdad, Ceci? Okay. <risa> y Ceci's like, yes, please, going back to business. <risa> All righty, guys. So, we already learned about uh, vocabulary, right? Uh, for apartments, for houses, and also for, pa oh, for furniture or things that we have inside of apartment or inside of a house. Now, guys, let me show you my pictures and help me describe them, please. Let me check what's up here. There you go. Okay, I have it here. Come on, there you go. I just have it. Uh, In okay. Spanish or English? A quick doubt, uh, go ahead. Um, shelves is like Mm, not really. Ropero is dresser. Shelves son como las gavetitas del ropero. You got it? Gaby? Yes. Um, Estantes. Entonces las shelves es, son las gavetas del... De exactly, del ropero. Mm -hmm. Del dresser. Del dresser. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. So let me share. Hey guys, ta -da! I have two pictures here. If you can see guys, on my right side, we have a house, right? And on my yeah. left side, we have an apartment. Guys, yeah. I want you guys to take a look on my right side. 
Let's describe all together the house. Can you give me the adjectives about this house? Spacious. Spacious, what else? Spacious, bright. Bright, what else? Comfortable. What? Modern. Modern. Comfortable. Comfortable, very good, what else? Neat. So, neat, very good, what else? No. Huge. 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 Yes. yes, it's spacious, right? Hey, can you let me know? Is this one or second floor house? <laughs> second floor, right? Second floor. Very good. Okay, guys, and in this house, can you mention some of the vocabulary that we have seen? What do you see here? Oh, wait, first of all, this place, is it the dining room, the living room? What? Living room. Living room. The living room. room. Okay, in the living room, what can we find? Stairs. Stairs. Sofa. What else? Table. Sofa. Table. Table. Coffee. Sofa. Table. Coffee. What else? Mirror. 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 Okay. It's small mirror. Big, big mirror. Uh huh. Muy bien. Very good. What else? Lamps. 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 What else? Oh. Um. um. Star. Coffee table. Lamp. Coffee table. Uh huh. Plants. Lamp. Plants. I think. Do, do you think the plants are artificial ones or natural ones? Natural. Natural, right? That's what I think. Yeah. What else? I think we have a mini a mini bookcase, right? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Hey, and there's something there. Is there a chimney? 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 No. Are you sure? I can't yes. see. It. Yes. Yeah, right. Okay, what else can we find? Ben. What? The fan is Ben. Ventilador, Ben. Ah, no, that is a fan. That is fan. What else? Stairs. Stairs, what else? The floor. Plant. Plants. <laughs> We can, we can also find a base. You know what base are? Yes. Jarrones, base. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pillows, pillows. Pillows. Yes. Uh -huh. And in the back, I think it's a kitchen, right? What do you think? Mm. No? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, dining room. Dining room? Dining room. room. Dining room. And I think on the the one the little brown that is on the attached to the wall, I think it's the cupboard. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. I can find a microwave there, right? Some chairs, some table, some bar. I think this is a bar. I don't know, maybe. Very good, guys. Thank you so much. What about? Let's look on the left side, which is the apartment. What do you think about this apartment? Do you like it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, is it, uh, I don't know, is this dingy? It's, yeah. Dingy? No. 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 So how what can you describe it? That? It's, it's small. 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 The, apartment, the apartment is modern. It's modern. What else? Bright. Bright. Mm -hmm. Bright. It's small. Small. Okay. Somebody said, what is the meaning of dingy? Dingy is sucio, lugrubre. Mm -hmm. no, it's very uh, clean. It's very clean, very good. Mother, you said, is it spacious? No. 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 Is it bright? Yes. Yes, yes. 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 bright. So guys, tell me, what do we what can we find this in this um apartment? If you see, guys, we have the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room together, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So in the living room, what can we find in the living room? Sofa. 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 What else? Coffee table. table. Have a table. Picture. Table. Uh huh. Big picture lamp. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pillows. 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 Yeah. A big Pillows. window. Right. Plants. Plants and the lamps. Right. Curtains. Uh huh. Curtains. Yeah. They're like a mother curtains, right? Okay, yes. very good. What about the dining room? The dining room, sorry. What can we find there? Table, table, uh -huh. chairs, chairs, chairs. chairs. Mm -hmm. uh, cup. cups, 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 
Mm-hmm. Very good. What else? Mm -hmm. Lamp. 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 Mm -hmm. Microwave. Microwave. Table. Table clock. Oh, very good. Stove. Yeah. So. Pantries. Uh huh. How do you say cubiertos? Cuddly. Cuddly. Let me write it down. Let me write it down. Let me write it down. Yeah, calorie. That is how you say cubiertos. But let's put it here. Cubiertos. I think it's like that. It is cutlery. Like that. Like that, guys. Oh, yeah, but I think cubiertos, it is with a B as in boy. Yes, this one. Okay. Excellent. Very good job. Okay, guys. So we're good on that. Now let's do something. So somebody's raising the hand. Rocks teacher. Yes, very good, Berito. Yes, you can find rocks. Okay, guys. So now that we we already have a the parts of the house and the parts of the house of the uh, apartments, right? We uh, we figure it out about vocabulary for each of them for the items that we can find it out. We already know about adjectives that we can use to describe apartments or houses. Now, how can we compare? How can we evaluate it? Do you remember, I think that, I don't know who was telling me. Ah, yes, Gabby, Gabby Sanchez was, give us like that, uh, compare, okay? So let me go ahead and search, share my screen with you. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, there you go. That is easy peasy queasy. Okay, can you see guys? Yes, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, here in, to talk about this, we can use two things. Let me check that out here. No, this one. Okay, we can evaluate mm -hmm. or we can compare. You can do both of them. However, for both of them, you can use adjectives or nouns, okay? But if you decide to evaluate, or if you decide to compare, is different. So right now, what I'm going to figure it out, or what I'm going to explain right now, it's how you can evaluate. I'm going to talk about this first person right now with adjectives and nouns. Okay. Guys, may I ask you, what is an adjective? What is the function of an, of an adjective? What is the function? What is an adjective? To describe. 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 Describe what? The noun. Describe the nouns. Exactly. The noun. Uh huh. Uh huh. And what is a noun? Can you give an example of a noun? A baby. Uh, just like that I want to uh -huh. describe. Yeah. No. An example of a noun. You can say the park. Children. Flower, etc. Right? That is a noun. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, guys, when we evaluate it with adjectives, let me focus on this one first. I want you guys to, we already know this, we already know about the adjectives. So, we're good on this. And this is the formula that we're going to use. We're going to use enough and two. That is the two keywords that we're gonna use to evaluate something with an adjective. For example, let me and let me give it to you the, the, the formula. Subject plus verb to be plus the adjective. It could be big, it could be small, it could be noisy, private, whatever. Enough, that means suficiente, and then the complement. Let me give you an example. Apartments. Ah, guys, and the verb to be could be positive or could be negative, right? Depende de lo que están haciendo. Pero en este caso, que es enough, is it positive or is it negative, guys? Is it okay. Enough, suficiente. Negative. 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 Exactly. Por eso es que el verb to be is going to be negative. Right. ¿Y por qué es errant and noise? Porque I'm talking about apartments. Muchos. Sí, exactly. Oh. So you said apartments aren't Big enough for families. See? 
lo que decía Brandy. Los apartamentos no son suficientemente grandes para las familias. ¿Ok? All right. Vamos a hacer otro. Apartments aren't spacious enough for families. ¿Ok? No son suficientemente espaciosos. Ahora bien, también, ¿se recuerdan que podemos usar tú? ¿Tú? Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa? También. También. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, también. si es también, si vamos a usar también, entonces el verb to be, siempre vamos a seguir la misma fórmula, pero como es algo positivo, es, en teoría la palabra es, también es positiva, entonces vamos a usar el are en forma afirmativa. ¿Sí? Y you can uh -huh. say, apartments are too small for families. Son muy pequeños para las familias. Un ejemplo. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahorita? Hasta I ahorita. I just want to be clear about two. Yes. Two you just said it's... Um, yes. How do you say it? But okay. I think in this context, context uh -huh. it's context? like... Demasiado. It's demasiado. like... Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, and mm -hmm. not like también. Yes, exactly. Yes, very good. Exactly. Acuérdense que mi español es muy bueno. <laughs> you are my Spanish teachers. Yes, exactly. Es como también, es eh, exactamente lo que tú dijiste. Sí, entonces, ven el contexto de, de positivo, ¿verdad? Pero está diciendo algo negativo de manera positiva para que no suene tan... Right. Por ejemplo, mm. los apartments are too small for families. Son muy pequeños so, o bastante so. pequeños para las familias, right? Entonces, es, lo estás diciendo algo, pero no tan porque el tú no es algo negativo como enough. Enough sí es algo que, que siempre va a ser negativo porque no alcanza enough. We're good on right now? ¿Sí? ¿Estamos bien con los adjectives? ¿Sí? Ok. Yeah. Let's go back to the nouns. Uh, let me go back here. Do, 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 do. There you go. Ok. What about guys? We, we can use also enough and to with nouns, but the formula is going to be a little bit different. And I want you guys to pay attention to that. You see, we have subject, verb, enough, now, and complement. For example, apartments, we keep on apartments, don't have enough parking spaces for a car. Los apartamentos no tienen suficiente parqueos, ¿no? O espacios para parquear para los carros. Is that good? Mira. Yes. Ajá. Good. ¿Ves que aquí puse verb? Porque cuando lo haces con nouns, you don't use the verb to be. You oh. can use any verb. Yeah? Only, only when you use evaluations with adjectives, you must use the verb to be. But if you're using a evaluation with nouns, Depends of your of you're going to set, the verb might change. Yes? Are we, are we good? Houses cost too much money. Las casas cuesta mucha plata. Estamos bien hasta acá? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. All righty, let me check. Let's move on here. Okay. Hoy vamos a comparison with adjectives y comparison with nouns. Hoy vamos a la segunda parte, ¿se recuerdan? Uh, vamos, aquí estamos usando houses versus apartments. ¿Cuál es la fórmula? Ok, let me give it to you. Subject plus verb to be plus as plus adjective plus as plus noun. Eso se lo tiene que aprender así como a guayaba, como se dice en salvadoreño. Entonces, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Yo creo que esto lo usó Gaby Sánchez. Eh, dijo, las casas no son tan convenientes como los apartamentos. As, as. ¿Estamos bien? ¿Cuál es el adjetivo aquí? Convenient. ¿Sí? Convenient. All right. What about houses with nouns? Bueno. Uh, sería acá subject plus verb plus as. Y aquí viene algo más. Miren que aquí en adjetivo solamente tenemos as, adjetivo y as. Pero cuando hacemos comparison with nouns, tenemos que añadir algo más a la fórmula. Y miren qué es lo que vamos a añadir. Subject, verb, as, many for count nouns, and much for non-count nouns. Vamos a hacer el as y el noun. ¿Cómo queda eso? 
apartment have as many rooms as houses. Los apartamentos, Hello. exactly. Hello. Los yeah. apartamentos tienen tantos uh, cuartos como las casas, ¿sí? ¿Por qué puse many y no much? Por mire. Countable. It's countable. It's countable, very good. Vamos a ver acá. Uh, la segunda. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Las apartamentos no tienen tanta privacidad como las casas. ¿Por qué puse much? Porque privacy, what type of now is it? Uncountable. Exactly. exactly. Me, me entiende más o menos cómo va la jugada? Yeah? Yes, it's It's easy, yes, peasy, quizzy, yes. right? Well, okay, I'm going to send it to you guys on an exercise for you to continue practicing. And I will send you another link so you can also practice your, increase your vocabulary, right? Remember? Any questions, any doubts? So far, is it good? No. Yes. Teacher, yes, bye. I want to go. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> okay. Ah. Okay, guys. So, well, I will send you like an exercise for you to do it. And you can give me the answer when you come back from the vacations. Guys, I'm going to miss you this week. I have to let you know. I, I don't know if you're going to miss me, but I'm going to miss you. And I wish you guys the best. Take care. Take care of your family, please, because I want to see all of you when we come back on August the 9th, okay? Hugs okay. and kisses. Take care. Have an amazing vacation, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.